Happy New Year! On the first day of 2026, Quinn has delivered an impressive treat for the AI image generation community with Quinn Image 2512, their December update to the text-to-image model. And I have just generated this image from a text prompt in Comfy UI. In this video, we are going to install this new Quinn Image model and I will be testing it out on various benchmarks, especially the most improved feature of human realism. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member and that should actually be your new year resolution to become a member of this channel. Also please follow me on X if you're looking for AI updates without any hype. So what has happened here? There are three major improvements which Quen has done and that primarily addresses a common pain points in AI generated imagery and I really totally relate to that. It has got enhanced human reali realism that dramatically reduces the telltale AI generated look, the plasticky look, particularly in facial features and skin textures. And you can see in this new image which I have generated, especially if I just open it here you see it is quite natural i mean there is i don't see any plasticky look here and the prompt was that it was also showing some fireworks and you can see that there is some foggy look on the glass of this window now another thing which it has done is that <clears throat> it has got finer natural detail rendering that brings landscape such as this firewall uh, fireworks also it, I mean, if you look at the animal fur, organic textures, and I will show it to you shortly, it really brings everything to life, especially the textures with unprecedented clarity. It has also got improved text rendering capabilities that deliver more accurate typography with better layout and multimodal composition. I will also be showing you its benchmarks on this arena, but for now, let me show you how you can get it installed. First thing which you need to do is to install Comfy UI. If you don't know how to install Comfy UI, just go to my channel, search with Comfy UI tutorial, and you will find the first video which is the easiest tutorial on the planet of Comfy UI. If you already have Comfy UI, make sure you update it. You can simply update it through your manager. And so just click on manager here and then update everything. I'll show you. So click on manager update Comfy UI and then restart. That's it. Now, once you have Comfy UI installed, you need to download all the models. So I will just show you that screen. So these are all the models which you can download. So you can just, uh, so there is a text encoder clip model. Don't, I mean, if you don't have much VRAM, then use this LoRa. I will be using the full uh, BF16 model but you can go with the lower one the fp8 one if you don't have much vram but i wanted to show you the full power of model and then the variational auto encoder which converts the latent image into pixel space and vice versa so this is we also need to download and where do we download so just go to where your comfy ui is go into models and then the main model this bf16 or fp8 will go into this diffusion one i have downloaded both of them and then once you have done that, next up, you just need to get your text encoder, the clip model, the first one. Text encoder will go here. You can see the size is 9.4 gig. And then the V model will go here in variation auto encoder. And that's it. If you're going with lightning LoRa, which primarily means that you can just finish generating the image in four steps. Uh, but for now, I'm going to go, you know, use the full one with the 50 steps. If you are using LoRa or low rank, you know, adaptation, you can just put LoRa here. I'm not using that. And then you just need to download the workflow and I will also drop the link to it in video's description, put it in your Comfy UI. And then that is all you need to do. So let me give it another prompt. Now I'm just asking it, hopefully you can read it, that a 25 year old South Asian man with stubble and tired eyes sits at a dimly lit coffee shop at 2 a.m. His laptop screen illuminates his face with cool blue light and a lo lot of other things. So 
I am just going to run it. By the way, this is my Ubuntu system. I am using NVIDIA H100 with 80 GB of VRAM. Let me show you the VRAM consumption. So you see it is consuming just over 48 gig of VRAM. And the model is fully loaded onto the GPU. I actually tried it with 48 GB of VRAM on my NVIDIA A6000, but it was not working. So I could, I had to, you know, move this to H100 and otherwise I would have released this video one hour ago anyway. And if you're looking to rent a GPU on very affordable price, you can find the link to Mast Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPU. So please, please do check them out. I really want to give Mast Compute a big shout out throughout last year and before they have really supported the channel with this otherwise it won't be possible and of course all of my members of the channel who have been really really rock solid and these are the previous query image models if you're interested and it has done it so let's see the southeast asian man there you go you see the realism is totally there the coffee cups are there and as i asked it to do it has done it Look at the shadows. So I think human real realism has definitely improved a lot. Okay, next up, let's try out nature. So I'm asking it to have a extreme close up of a hummingbird mid flight, wings frozen in motion, individual ir reticent feathers and a lot of other things, morning dew, natural sunlight and creating rim, rim lighting. So you can see that it is at the moment working. So let's wait. And by the way, this is a collapsed um, workflow. I will also show you the detailed one so that you could also know which models to select in which node. So let's uh, wait for this one to finish and we will check it out. And look at this generation. Wow. This is simply sublime really really good stuff very natural it is frozen look at the eyes they actually look so real so lively there is also this dew on the beak look at the background exactly what i asked it to do and also everything looks really good i mean if you look at the feathers it has so naturalness things have come a long way a long way even from the uh, previous update of their model Okay, so let me go back. So this is a collapsed one. If you just click on this, uh, you know, text to image node. So this is actual um, workflow. Make sure that you have selected your diffusion model here. If you don't have much VRAM, just click here, select the FP8 one. And then rest is clip model, which deals with your text prompt is as is. We selected and if you are using LoRa, they also have the LoRa one, but you know, which comes below it, it will be disabled. You have just have to right click and enable it. Okay, so that is cool. Let's try out another one. Okay, next up, I'm checking out the text rendering. And in that one, you see that it's a 1950s vintage style poster with some bold typography, some large retro text. And the text is that become member of our channel, and some, you know, please like and subscribe and all that stuff. So let's see what it generates. And there you go. As I asked it to do, visit Mars and look at the retro look. I will just show it to you in here. So you see, I mean, even the paper is a bit old, aged. And look at the text. I don't see any spelling mistake. It has a real, real good improvement. It's so retro. Rocket, Mars, Sun. Amazing, really love it. You know, I might even create my thumbnail of this video with it, but let's wait. Okay, so this is so, so good. Okay, let's try out maybe a complex scene. I am just asking it that abandoned Victorian greenhouse overgrown from within, shattered glass panes allows vines to escape outward. I'll actually make it a bit bigger. Rusted ornate ironwork, frame still elegant. So it is, it, there's a lot of things happening in this one. So let's see how it reflects it. And it has generated it. And if I show it to you, I think there is nothing better than this. This is so, so good. You know, the shattered glass on the left 
and the vines and really really good stuff i mean look at the detail even you know this is a bit of a plasticky look but other than that i think it has done wonderfully well i mean on the pot but other other pots are really good you see that you know soil on the bottom of the pot okay let's do one final one and then we'll go from there and by the way this is not the last video in this series i'm going to do a lot of other videos because there are a lot of good lauras available and we will be testing all of them out so this is just a portrait and i'm just trying to test out some sophisticated styling here professional photography aesthetic some lighting and detail some classy atmosphere an upscale setting that maintains artistic integrity plus i also want to check out some fabric texture hair detail of this lady where a confident 28 year old woman with long flowing platinum blonde hair styled in loose waves cascading over one shoulder and then all that stuff so let's wait and there you go a sheer class i think it has done wonderfully well the drink is there the lady is there and fabric looks really good with and everything is in the right place so this is really good stuff now i also want to give a huge shout out to our very good friends at step sharp if you are looking to build an ai project of any scale in any modality of any use case with highest quality i would highly suggest that you contact them by visiting this contact page from the website and then go from there highly recommended please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot thank you for all the support